Uh, you and I have got the same, uh, you know, uh, whipping stripes that we, you know, from years gone by. Uh, and, you know, I'll tell you that this, the, I'm seeing, a, I'm looking harder and I'm seeing more of the similarities to what happened back in 2008. There was a point in time where I was trying to stick my head in the sand saying this is, you know, demand is so high, just can't, it's yeah. going up. But, you know, I'll tell you, I've been, I uh, was kind of open, my eyes opened up with Ivy Zellman. I've been doing a lot more research in, uh, in other types of, uh, of, of, you know, issues that we're, that we're dealing with as an economy, uh, yeah. not just in multifamily or real estate, but as an economy, uh, that something is going to happen. And, you know, what are your thoughts on it, Paul? Well, all right. So like Howard Mark says in his great book, Mastering the Market Cycle, getting the odds on your side. Um, trees don't grow to the sky. And it's neither do, neither do asset prices. Now, there's a little, we have, to, we have to throw inflation into the mix there, and we'll get back to that. But there will be a cycle because we're dealing with human beings. We're dealing with human psychology. The market's down 500 points today because of human psychology. That's all it could be because the nothing changed in the economy significantly since yesterday. We already knew that the rates were going to change. That should have already been priced in. But at, at any rate, the, the market will change. It will cycle up. It will cycle down. There's a time when people say it could. it's never going to stop. I have to jump in. I watched all my friends jump in the last 11 years, and I finally are going to jump in. They jump in right near the top. And on top of that, they overpay for the asset. And on top of that, they have a business strategy called hope. And hope is not a great business strategy. So that, that's what's going on here. I'm not saying we're in a bubble, and I'll tell you why in a minute, although I think we might be. Uh, I'm not saying we are, but I can tell you this, that somebody I know and that you know uh, has their worst multifamily asset. It's the one deal they couldn't raise rents on in three years. They didn't increase income on in three years. And as you know, the value formula in commercial real estate should mean that that asset is essentially unchanged in value in three years because the net operating income didn't change. I get that the cap rate compressed a little, but somebody paid him $10 million more than he paid for the asset. Now think about that. Those investors are going to bear this higher level of debt, this higher, all these fees, all this additional level of management, $10 million more than he paid. And he is one of the top operators in the US and he couldn't raise rents. What are the chances that those investors are going to do well? Exactly. I'll tell and you. on top of it, you know, don't forget the fact, you know, a rising interest rate environment, yep. you know, it was that person that just bought it, it has to sell it to somebody you know, yeah. X number of years from now, and it's going to be a totally different world. So no, that, yeah. that, that deal's a loser. Uh, you know, I'll go, it, I'll it go is on a loser. with that one, Paul. Yeah, it's a loser. <clears throat> and here's the way it might end up looking like a winner. What do you think it is? It's this. This is a $10 trillion bill from a real bill. And I got a bunch here. Oh, if okay. you guys want to don't, I'm not going to tell you where I live, yeah. but uh, these are from Zimbabwe, seriously. And uh, inflation could appear, yeah, and I say the word appear, cover over a multitude of sins. And what I mean is if rents go up 50% before that group has to refinance, on paper, they might look like their asset went up in value 40%, let's say, right. 30%, let's say. And so uh, they might end up telling their investors they did a great job, but that's only nominal value. The word nominal is, is confused sometimes to mean a small amount, but nominal also means in name only. Right. And so they might have made money in name only. And, you know, honestly, I'm not saying Wellings Capital were better than them, but we are looking for assets that make money nominally and actually in actual real dollars. Yeah. And that's how we're combating this craze. <laughs>